I'm just going to add bearings to the supports. Um, the particular bearing I'm using has an eighth inch opening. They were a perfect fit for the last music wire I purchased the eighth inch, but this per more recent purchased uh, eighth inch music wire doesn't quite fit them. So I'll probably have to sand that down a little bit in the drill press to get it to fit the bearing. Essentially the plan is to drill the hole out to fit this, center it, and fix it in place with some high temp epoxy. Then feed the crankshaft back in. Should be all set. Um, some of my other engines, I did put bearings on the uh, connecting rods, but uh, it seems pretty low friction with the wood on metal. So I'm going to leave it that way for now and just uh, take care of the supports because the friction is pretty high in there. Drill out upright to size of bearing. Insert halfway and fix in place with high temp epoxy. Be careful not to get any on moving parts of the bearing. The part number and supplier of the bearings are provided in the Phoenix Engine Plans, available at jeplans.com. Okay, with the bearings added in here. We got it running without any flywheel on right now. On a fairly, we'll turn that up a little low temperature. Uh, a lot of engines won't do that where it runs without any kind of fan or flywheel to carry the momentum. Uh, the main thing we we're trying to address with the bearings on the uprights here is uh, there was a lot of friction. If you don't have these perfectly square, it kind of pinches against the metal. This is the unit running. With the um, fan in the design, <coughs> fan in the design, runs pretty smooth. In the plans, there's a secondary fan. It's a little on the bigger side. It was too heavy for it to run without the bearings before, so we'll put that on real quick. With the new bearings, it should run just fine. Basically, the weight before caused too much friction in that front. couple notes about the design. If you notice there's no longer springs holding the top to the bottom. It's because the bottom proved um, the seal proved too tight to remove. Removing the springs also reduces uh, the heat transfer of course. So that's actually beneficial in that sense. Although I did want to replace the displacer. But uh, with one I didn't burn quite so much. Here's the Phoenix engine running on a newly designed candle stand that kind of tries to capture the theme a little bit more of the fire the Phoenix. This will be part of the set of plans. I'm going to add it into the uh, existing Phoenix plan set. There'll be a couple of pages added on. For those of who <clears throat> for those who have purchased the plans already, simply go to the member area and uh, download them again when the next version is out which uh, should be shortly after the release of this video actually seems to uh, run a little smoother with the lower temperature that the candle produces versus the uh, hot plate I had it on earlier perhaps it was too brute a force <laughs> 